So what we're talking about today is a bunch of federal officers, right? Yes. All right, it's time to meet Officer in Training Yeti. <laughs> He's a good boy. Here at the USDA's National Dog Detector Training Center just outside of Atlanta, Yeti is hard at work to prove he's got what it takes to be a member of the Beagle Brigade. Good boy. What are all the things that he'd be searching for right now? So he's searching for apple, mango, citrus, beef, and pork. And then the dogs will expand once they get out to the field and they can add, you know, 100, 150 odors. We're Job three Yeti. for three, right? Yes. <laughs> Why beagles? Why are they so good at this? Well, because they have everything they need to do this job. They've got an excellent nose. They can discriminate all kinds of odors that comes from being a hunting dog. They love their food, as most beagle owners would know. And they're very intelligent. They pick up the job quickly. And they also like working with their partner. It's not just beagles. The center trains bigger dogs like Labradors too. While a beagle's small size makes it perfect to weave around bag claim, a Labrador's height helps it search a cargo plane more quickly. So these canine teams are sort of intercepting a problem that could ultimately go down the line and impact your dinner plate at home? Absolutely. Your pork, your beef, any fruits and vegetables, any seeds, any plants, trees, all of those things have pests that are in other countries but not yet here in America. And so if we can catch them at the border and keep them from getting established, that saves billions of dollars. This is Officer in Training Kingston, and he'll go through eight weeks of training here in Georgia. Yes. So other than him being a very good boy who loves hugs, how yes. did we know Kingston would be good at this job? So Kingston loves food more than he <laughs> loves the attention. I like that this dog loves treats so he much. He loves treats so much that he'll do anything that he knows how to do to get that treat. Right. Find it, Kingston. Oh, oh, good boy! You're so good! It's amazing with how much technology has advanced. Mm -hmm that one of the best ways to get this done is mm -hmm. with a dog and their snout. Absolutely. They're just so efficient at it. They've been obviously bred for years to use their nose, to have that instinct to find things. And so using our training methods, we're able to channel that into locating the objects of agriculture interest. And today, these very good officers made it to graduation. <laughs> Officer Waffle reporting for duty. <laughs> From there, the Beagles get deployed to international ports of entry across the country, like here at Atlanta's International Airport. The Beagles patrol the floor. If one smells something suspicious, it signals to the Customs and Border Protection agent who pulls the bag for extra screening. This pile here is everything that's been confiscated just in the past few hours. The Beagle can search thousands of bags. What it would take officers to do hours, the Beagles can do it in mere seconds. The big find while we were there? A completely raw chicken. They're so cute and, and cuddly. They're perfect size to go in and out of people, in and out of luggage, and before you know, they're sitting at your feet, and you're like, oh, and then you're like, no, you just got busted. <laughs> you guys are federal officers now. <laughs> yeah, lovely. That's There's great. my dog voice. All right, most <laughs> of these vehicles serve about nine years and then retire, and the USDA says they are almost always adopted by their CBP officer. And when that doesn't happen, there's usually someone else at the port who's fallen in love and will adopt Aww. them that instead. Is that is so good. I am who's a good federal agent? Chicken, who's a good federal agent? I, <laughs> right, exactly. I know. And they're sausage, lots of raw meat, yeah, the actually. Chicken not on ice. Yeah. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but were they probably trying to get it through? Like, did they have to <laughs> Yeah, they definitely were, you know, and they, they'll bring up some. Sometimes people are trying to bring something home to their family. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're trying to resell it, things yeah. like that. But yeah. those dogs are going to find it. As our senior producer, Matt Greenfield, just said, they ran afoul. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. This is why you Matt, nice. And, <laughs> and not out loud. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.